Assalamu alaikum everybody. All right. Today in toxicology, we will talk about how come solvents can produce toxic effects. Okay. So, <clears throat> so the first one, uh, this is the entire uh, itinerary of the lesson. How exactly we will move on today? So coming up to uh, up to the first class, which is aliphatic and halogenated aliphatic hydrocarbons okay so when we talk about these so uh, aliphatic and halogenated aliphatic hydrocarbons include fuels and industrial solvents such as n-hexane gasoline kerosene carbon tetrachloride chloroform and tetrachloroethylene so these agents are cns depressants and cause neurologic liver and kidney damage cardiotoxicity is also possible what i want you people to do is this make a make two columns okay and then in one column which should be a bit thinner write names of uh, uh, these groups and name of the uh, ke chemicals which are present within that group okay and in the other corner write the toxic effects which are produced that is the easiest way to memorize this chapter okay all right so then we have polyneuropathy polyneuropathy means that uh, the nerves are damaged at the new nerve uh, at the several ends of the body okay it's towards the periphery basically all right and it's not in the central part which is the brain and the spinal cord okay so when we talk about polyneuropathy here, we are talking about the peripheral neuropathy, okay? So uh, polyneuropathy from cytoskeletal disruption predominates with n-hexane poisoning. So neural effects such as memory loss and peripheral neuropathy predominate with chloroform and tetrachloroethylene exposure. Chloroform also causes nephrotoxicity it's obviously related to kidneys hepatotoxicity and renal toxicity are common with carbon tetrachloride poisoning carcinogenicity has been associated with chloroform carbon tetrachloride and tetrachloroethylene all of these effects may be mediated by free radical interaction with cellular lipids and proteins so chloroform can sensitize the heart to arrhythmias, right? So it can make it even more vulnerable. So aspirations with chemical pneumonitis and pulmonary edema is common. Treatment is primarily supportive and is oriented to the organ systems involved. So the next class is aromatic hydrocarbons and i'm sure we all know that aromatic hydrocarbons are those with the which have aroma which are ring shaped right and uh, in in this class i'm sure we all know about benzene toline and xylene right because i'm sure in uh, in the chemistry lab when you would be doing uh, uh, medicinal chemistry and stuff like that so you you would know about it that why exactly we don't use it and all but let's read about it so benzene first of all of this class of solvent benzene benzene poisoning is the most common that is why we don't keep it in the labs okay so cns depression is the major acute effect chronic exposure can result in severe bone marrow depression resulting in aplastic anemia which means now the bo uh, blood will not be able to have uh, adequate amount of blood cells and other blood discrasses uh, which means blood dysfunction okay so here again this particular terminology also means that the number of blood cells which could be produced in a normal condition are not able to reproduce uh, are not able to produce now okay so low level benzene exposure has been linked to leukemia no specific treatment is available for benzene poisoning 
Then we have choline, xylene, where, which suppress the CNF. They cause fatigue and ataxia. Ataxia means that uh, the person will not be able to walk properly in a straight pattern, okay? Uh, the body muscles will not coordinate. What is a part of the brain which controls uh, muscle coordination? Hmm? What is a part of the brain which controls muscle coordination? Cerebellum, good. So cerebellum, it controls the uh, muscle coordination. Uh, uh, okay, so here we have ataxia, which means that it would have uh, effect on the cerebellum at low doses and loss of consciousness at higher levels. Then we have polychlorinated biphenyls. PCBs are stable Highly lipophilic agents that, although not used since 1976, still persist in the environment. So, dermatologic uh, disorders are the most common adverse effects, possible reproductive dysfunction, and carcinogenic effects linked to PCBs may be largely due to other contaminating polychlorinated agents such as dioxin and. TC, DD, that is tetrachloro di benzo p uh, para dioxin. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Great.